maybe I'm, I'm a good songwriter. Michael's always encouraging me to share my songs with people, but he's one of the few people I share songs with. Um, but I'm going to sing a song that Michael has to learn, because I wrote this for him. Oh, it's a new song, and I'm going to sing it, and I'm, is it I'm drinking scotch. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> I, I, um, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time, and I figured if, if I don't do it now, it's just never going to happen. If you gather around, I will tell you a tale. Don't worry, it ends happily. Though it took way too long, it was well worth the wait. It's a story of Michael and me. And not just about us. There are so many more who make up our community. Who fought for the right of just to love whom they love. The ones they call LGBT. Well, it started at Stonewall the week Judy died. But it was more like the Stone Age, you see. Cause we had to hide all of our feelings inside. The world just would not let us be. Some called us sinners. Some said we were sick. That it's some sort of insanity. And they all called us criminals, locking us up. And they wanted to throw away the key. Till some brave pioneers said enough is enough. Time to stand up for our dignity. So we marched in the streets and down to City Hall and took buses up to Albany. And we lectured and lobbied and rallied our cause till we changed laws eventually. As our culture evolved, all our problems seemed solved. Because now we could live openly. But I promised a personal story of love. So forgive me this brief history. And let me get back to the point of my song. A story of Michael and me. Well, it's been 15 years since we met in a bar. It was love that first night instantly. So it didn't take too long to know he was the one, and I asked him to move in with me. And although we're as different as, well, black and white, <laughs> not to mention religiously, when we're together, it all seems so right. So I knew it was just meant to be. So we made our own rules as we lived day to day proudly so unconventionally. And I figured we must have reached all of our goals. Because we had Will and Grace on TV. <laughs> but a new generation of friends came along fighting for marriage equality. Cause the lover and partner of very nice words. They don't make you family. I supported their right. And I fought in their fight, though I knew that it wasn't for me. Cause that old wedding vow seemed restrictive somehow, and I thought that we fought to be free. So we took our agenda to Washington next, and spoke to those folk in D.C. Because how can a couple be married in Maine and be single still in Tennessee? <laughs> Well, the haters came out, and they called us bad names. So to them we said, fiddle dee dee. Because we knew we were right and continued our fight till we won a Supreme Court decree. Well, now time is a funny companion to have as you try hard to age gracefully. Because some lessons take longer than others to learn, to make you see things differently. Perhaps I'm just wiser now at 64 than I was when I was 64.
three. <laughs> but I'm thinking there's something that I like about the sound of gay matrimony. So, Michael, my dear, I have a question to ask <laughs> as I get down on one bend. <laughs> Will you pledge to be mine for the rest of our life? My <laughs> Will you marry me? Because I know you're my only true soul made in life. So it's time for a ceremony that endures as a sign that I'm yours and you're mine together for eternity. And to those who have listened and liked my new song, both the words and the sweet melody, if you're thinking to borrow it now for yourself, <laughs> consider it share property. Though I wrote this for Michael, feel free to recycle <laughs> with the name of your own honeybee. All I ask is that you Please give credit where due, because I wrote this for Michael and me. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, and, yes. Catherine back. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we didn't hear an answer. We didn't hear an answer. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, hi, but thank God. Bravo. You can hey, still wear my hat. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you can't. Yes, you can. can. No, you oh, can. my God, you should talk. Oh, yes, you should talk. Oh, it had to be three. John Kemp is in Madison. Yes. I'm not going to yes. tell. Oh, my God. That's the end of the surprises. Good. Oh, all right. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations. Where's the ring? Where's the ring? You know, you know Russell would pay you back. You know Russell would pay you back. Diamonds off forever. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, uh, you are. Just too easy. Uh, <laughs> Mike, Michael is too much of an expert on, on jewelry for me to think about hand. Yeah, he is. That's a place to make you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been trying this one for a long time. Yes. Or Cartier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to think. They think for.